All right, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Today we're going to be going through Zoralan Labyrinth um, and exploring as much as possible that we can. Uh, I probably won't be hitting every single item that is in there. There's a lot, and there's also a lot of items that are not super valuable. Um, a lot of plates are down there, um, lots of gems, um, but most importantly, we're going to be trying to get all of the crests that we can. Um, so yeah, we're gonna need a lot of money. Uh, if you've been, if you remember the, uh, uh, I forgot what ruins they're called. Uh, Ada something ruins in um, in the black and white games. Uh, the the idea is the same, where you have a certain amount of steps before it tosses you out. Uh, so you're gonna have to do a couple of runs to get everything. But yeah, sure. So yeah, I'm. So the first floor here, you have 600 steps, I believe, is the amount. Um, there's it's it's a really big map. Um, so we're we're gonna explore it in corners. I'm gonna start with the top right corner, um, which is around here. Um, so, oh that's wrong. One second. I need my reference map. Uh, Wait, where am I? There I am. Yep, okay. Yeah, there's also a lot of relic stuff um, around. There's an insect plate there. Uh, I believe up here. Yep, there's an icicle plate. Uh, a free meadow plate there. Um, I believe this way. Okay, a dread plate there. Now there is a room up there, but it's empty. It is probably the only empty room. Um, but yeah, you'll see these rooms, and these rooms usually contain a crest. So that's as a viper crest um, right there. Let's see, the next room is down, not this way. You'll also notice some of these will fight you, uh, not all of them. And you can run away from them, it's fine. Uh, Honestly, a strong Pokemon with Shadow Ball can knock it out. Whenever you see a strong force draws near, that means you only have 100 steps left. So, uh, again, it's not a lot of steps. Um, I think... I think I'm pretty much out of time now. Uh, let me just double check. Yes, okay. But yeah, this is where you want to be. Uh, exhibit your strength to the king. You need this. You need either strength or golden gauntlet um, in order to unlock the door. But yeah, we got tossed out. Uh, you don't have a lot of time. Just straight up. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh, that's pretty much everything I want to get from that side. Uh. We'll go down. Now we'll go straight to the um, gauntlet area. There's this cof one coffer Gugus right here. Oh, I forgot. I need a... You need a water and rock type too. I totally forgot. Um, there's this right here. Oh, this actually might be a dead end. Oh, yeah. No, we're fine. Okay. There's this right here. Uh, but yeah, you want to come up here. Up here is the way to the next room, but you want to come down here first. Yeah. Because in here is an Oricorio crest. It's a pretty strong crest, honestly. Uh, just a pretty good stat boost. Up here, we can go to the next area. Um, so this is floor two. Get the correct ones here. Okay. I don't remember exactly how many steps you're allowed here. Uh, but yeah, once you come out, the door will close. There's a toxic plate here. Um, there's a room right here. 
you kind of have to go around, but uh, flame plate there. Here we go. It's just a data drive, though. This is the only, like, one of the only non crest rooms. If you come around here, there's an iron plate, but that's the only thing on this side. Uh, so, not sure if it's fully worth it. Could be. Um, if you come around here, oh, a hypno crest. Coming to this side, there's an earth plate. Um,. And can we get one more before? Yes, we can. Okay, maybe. Lots of rock smash rocks. Uh, but yeah, that room down there. A pharaoh crest. And um, I think that's the last room. Oh, there's one more room. I don't know if we can get there in time though. Um, The last room is on the bottom right. Oh, maybe I can get there. Nice, okay. A Standler Crest. And despite it saying Standler Crest, it also works on Wordier. Um, but yeah, we got tossed out. That's okay. Um, let me just double check what I need to do here. There's... Where's the... Yes, okay, it's down there. Okay, uh, I do need to go and grab... Actually, no, we don't need to, really. Um, once you have dive, you will need to grab a water slash rock type in order to proceed. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to start from the first floor again, which is fine. Come on over... And come up this way instead, down and up here. Uh, and now we can actually go straight to the next uh, room from here. So you'll come down here. I think I think this is the easiest path. Um, I think you'll need to come down. Yep, through here. Maybe not. Oh, I'm trolling. Yep, I'm trolling. It's down even more. Huh? Am I? Did I mess up? I did mess up. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, yep. Yep, I messed up big time. Oh well. So yeah, uh, you want to come up here and around here. So if you see this L-shaped block, you basically want to go up and around uh, this way. Oh, I don't know if I have time anymore, but yeah. Um... You want to defeat a sleeping coffin. There's one particularly uh, strong coffin Grigas, basically. He is. It is over here. Yep, I don't have time, but yeah. Up here is where you want to be. Uh, I need to give something Shadow Ball. Or actually, you have Crunch. You'll probably be okay. I'll just give you the Dark Memory. Dark memory for now, at least. There we go. Uh, multi attack. And the doorway opened. I don't have time to get there, unfortunately, but that's how you do it. Um, I just totally messed that up. Uh, so yeah, I think just right here. Yep. This is floor one. Oh, come on. Come up and around. Uh, down here. Up and over. So I think just over here, down to one flight of stairs. Yep, and then up and over here. 
to feed the sleeping coffin, you do have to talk to that sign first before uh, before it will wake up, basically. There we go. Might be a good idea also to turn uh, the speed up off. Just so it's uh, up and over here. And now this door is now open. Um, here we go. So floor three. This is the last explorable floor for now. Um, until we have more... Uh, well, more... Until we have dive, basically. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna make sure I hit everything here. Yes. Okay. So yeah, coming this way is probably the easiest for now. Um, there's a room right here. Leafy on crest. Now the evolution crests are legitimately really good. There's a glacian crest I think coming up in a second. Um, that's okay. Coming up this way, there's a room right here. There we go, Glacian Crest. Now as to why Leafeon Glacian got the crest and no other evolutions, I have no idea. Um, I've always liked Leafeon though, so you know, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, and now I need to go... Yes, this way. Through here, not a crest, but a flame orb. So for your guts Pokemon, there you have it. Um, down here, I believe is a dead end actually. Relic silver, um, and I believe, is there one more? I believe that is it for like the big crest, um, a strong force draws near, that's fine. I'm just gonna grab this real quick, a sky plate, and I think that's all I'm gonna be able to grab. Um, that's pretty much it for the Zorlin Labyrinth as far as like things we can do right now. Uh, once we have dive, we'll come back here and explore it fully. Of course, you can do a couple more runs. There's a bunch of items just scattered about, a bunch of plates, a bunch of relic, um, copper and silver that you can sell for a bunch of money and all that. But um, again, in the description, I'll link the maps that I, uh, I made basically. Well, it's the game's maps, but I mapped out where all the items are so that you can take a look for yourself. I'll link that in the description below. But otherwise, that'll be it for this detour. Um, yeah, you can be dark type for now. Uh, no response because we can't call the braviaries yet. That's fine. So Alamisa Urban is right up here. Nope, not here, sorry. Coming over to this side, then up here. If we come up here... Hi, Ren. Thumbs, what did you come here? I see. You came to get the job done with me after all. Thank you for this opportunity. I won't ruin this chance. Thumbs, do you happen to know the story of Alamisa Urban? Uh, no, not really. Then you'll learn. By just walking through this place, you'll learn. If we're gonna be teammates, I need to come clean about something. It happened right after you left Golden Leaf Town. Let's chat. What? Uh. So yeah, this is how Ren got converted. Um, what the? Where am I? This way, Ren. Don't keep me waiting. Crescent. What the hell is this place? Where did you take me? Okay, this is seriously so creepy. What is this place, Crescent? I'm gonna ignore that remark. This is my place of residence. My mm, base of operations, if you will. You better have plans to tell me everything that's been going on. Why do you have a framed picture of thumbs and... Whoever the rest of those people are, I'm going to be the one talking here, so just listen. And again, I'm going to ignore that last part because I 
and before I become extremely irritated. Now, about why I brought you here. You said you wanted answers, correct? What if I could provide an answer to that one big problem that's just haunting you? An answer to a question that's been haunting me? What if I said there was a way to bring Melia back from the dead? Now remember, Crescent knows that Melia isn't dead. This is right before Melia, uh, Crescent, this is right after Crescent went rogue, right? And Crescent helped Melia out back then. But what? Bring Melia back from the dead? Don't you dare screw with me, that's not possible. Once someone is dead, they're just gone and... You and Melia had a really good relationship prior to all this, right? It's such a shame that all ended just because Team Zen decided what they wanted was hidden inside her. And all that effort for what? They got her killed for no reason. But you, Ren, could give her a second chance. A second chance at a life she never had. Imagine how grateful she would be to you. Imagine all the people who would look up to you. Imagine everything that could happen with her once she gets back. Imagine how much that would make her love you. This... What do I have to do? Yeah, so uh, Ren got fully manipulated here. <laughs> I thought you might turn around. What you have to do is the simple part. I need you to join Team Zen. You're out of your mind, Crescent. If you think I'm going to join the enemy, just silence. You won't be under their rule, you'll be under mine. I want you to act as my mole. I need you to get some information on something for me. In exchange for getting information, I will revive Melia for you. And while you're doing that, you'll be helping me team take down Team Zen from the inside out. Isn't that beneficial for both of us? You get Melia back, and I get Team Zen's destruction. I... I don't know. You're right when you say that it's beneficial for both of us, but... You make it sound way easier than it actually is. Of course it won't be easy. But the rewards are worth it, no? And of course, I'd be here to protect you. I believe you have the most potential out of your group to do this. Again, she's poking at his insecurities here. So, what do you say, Ren? A deal? So I joined Team Zen, but as you quickly found out, Crescent had manipulated me from the beginning. Melia never died that day, and Crescent knew that. When Astasia and I escaped to GDC, I cut ties with Crescent for good. But the en in the end, I was the only loser. Crescent got the information she needed, and I got tangled into an inescapable situation. As for what that situation was, I'm sorry, but I can't tell you that. I didn't join Team Zen because I wanted to betray anyone. I just... I didn't want anyone to get hurt or die. I just wanted my best friend back. But it's not even about her anymore. It's about something that's bigger than Team Zen itself. Something I'm determined to see to the end. There's one last thing I wanted to do before we continued. Before I was commissioned to be Nastasia's assistant, I came across something peculiar. There was a single Pokeball amongst a bunch of other heaps of trash. It was scheduled for incineration a few hours after I found it. I managed to save it, but it was damaged. Nastasia helped me repair it. She told me it belonged to someone very close to you. It belonged to your mother. Nastasia told me to hold on to this and give it back to you whenever we met again, so I believe this belongs to you. Then we got our mom, Sylveon. Uh, thanks, Nastasia, I guess, and Ren? Somehow? Ah, uh, yeah, we'll send it to the PC for now. And a mysterious black box. Please accept that as my apology to you and to Nancy. By the way, that wasn't supposed to be a bribe for forgiveness. I broke our trust, and that's sacred. I'm going to work to rebuild that trust. Consider that a down payment. We've got work to do. Yep. Alamisa Urban. Ryland. I knew you would come here. Ren Thumbs, I think we got off on the wrong foot. I want you two to understand why I chose the path I'm on. You better not be up to anything. I'm not. I don't care for you, but I'm not a heartless man. Would you two fancy a walk through the memories of an old forgotten prince? Sure. So yeah, Ryland's gonna join us now. Um, yeah, here we go. Alamisa Urban, the city of happiness. And uh, you'll see, you'll notice. Tanks. In a Pokemon game. Yes, that is correct. There are tanks in a Pokemon game. Um, 
Yeah, we can go either way, really. What was that? The blue stones hung upon the walls are called time slicer stones. These memory, these particular ones can show the memories of the past. My past. Be sure to watch. Sure, sure. We'll watch. And for some reason, there's some blade star grunts just around. Uh, camera up. Uh, I mean, honestly, Bambi can probably be okay here. Yawn. I mean, it's fine. Headbutt probably KOs. We'll go to sleep, but that's fine. It's gonna iron head now. Yeah, now we're gonna headbutt. Yep, good job, Bambi. Uh, let's heal you. Ah, red shard. Red shard there. Um, you'll see a butterfly up there. Um, or something sparkling up there. I actually want to go the other way first because I just realized that I might have uh, started on the wrong side. Okay, yeah, there's... Can't go this way. Forgot. Yep. Yeah, that was correct. Alright. So yeah, there will be some battles, which is fine. Um... See butterflies there, uh, but those butterflies usually mean that there's going to be a battle of some sort. Um, which there is, right there. Just because you have Rylan with you doesn't mean we'll be kind. Uh-huh, sure. Drill vile, uh, sure, multi-attack. Septile, multi-attack. Oh, you survived that. Ivy Solar multi attack. It's not gonna sleep powder again, so I'm gonna go to Leo here. Air Slash, Venusaur comes out, Air Slash again. Nice, okay. Uh, do I have. Oh, I should have not used that. I have a couple of Chestos, I think. Um, berries. Chesto, yep, I have 10. Let's actually lead Leo, honestly. Um, we'll use the butterflies later. You can see the phalanx there. Um, that is catchable once you, if you can access it. Hello there, Blade Star Grunt. Blade Star Jet with his Tropius. Uh, I guess I just heat wave. Slow King. Um, switching out here. Slash and burn. Nice. Uh, headbutt here. Nice. Okay. More memories. This area used to be a busy marketplace. We never got too many outsiders, but it was a special occasion when we did. Visitors were always happy to gaze upon the wares you could only find locally. Yep. So yeah, this is a shortcut back um, to the places that you've been before. So this will let you go back to the beginning. This will let you come back to the butterfly if you need it. Um, I don't need it yet, so... Yeah. Yellow shard. And there's another thing there. Um, Luxray. Uh, I don't like this matchup. Maybe should be kind of okay. Man, even with the desert softening the attack, that still hurts. Levani, uh, now we switch. And the air slash. Heat wave is for some reason just not as reliable. Yep, there we go. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, okay. Whew. Uh, ultra potion. There we go. Yellow shard there. Walk over. Wormadam there. Air slash. Easy. We'll just couple air slashes through this. Actually, this one should have been heat wave. Oh well, whatever. We'll moo moo milk. Simple enough. 
I will just ultimate potion. I have the money, honestly. So yeah, this one you just have to be careful of. Um, because yeah, other people can step on it. Uh, take this ladder up. Say hello to this new grunt here. Good flinch, sucker punch, and I missed sucker punch again. Dormanitan comes out. Okay. Uh, fortress, that's a heat wave if I've ever seen one. Sturdy? Sturdy. It's gonna explode. Please don't die. It died. Uh, okay, so there's a phalanx if you want to catch one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the butterfly here. Alright, I come down here, power bracer, nothing else in here, oh there's something up here, so yeah, come in here and you can come out here, more memories, the children used to play here so peacefully in the lush oasis, but during the attack the ground crumbled and the oasis fell into the abyss below, all to be forgotten, all to be forgotten. A poke toy there, which is a really sad place to put a poke toy, honestly. Yellow shard there, red shard there. Um, we can activate this post here. There's another butterfly, uh, which you know means be careful in uh in Pokemon Rejuvenation language. There is a basement area here that we can come down. Uh, there's a prism scale. Unfortunately, we can't reach that side yet. That's down there. Uh, it's somehow locked. So yeah, nothing we can do. You can come over this side, uh, but the exit is blocked. Unfortunate, but whatever. And I think that's it. That's all there is to Alamisa Urban. Yellow Shard. Revive. More yellow shards, nothing else here. Right, so go ahead, save, uh, step on the butterfly if you need to, and we finally reach the end. So you're in Blade Star because of what happened to your home? That's right. And do you know who caused my home to burn? The very side you aligned yourself with, Team Zen. It was just over a decade ago now. Without warning, Team Zen infiltrated this city and desecrated it. The charge was led by the current mayor of Grand Dream City, Cassandra. I've never even heard of this event. Of course not. It was swept under the rug. No one cared to help. The world preferred us to silently disintegrate into nothing. But you, Ren, are also fighting alongside Team Zen. Knowing what they do and what they have done, why? It's complicated. So you have reasons that you believe will benefit you and your loved ones, is that right? Not just my loved ones. I'm fighting for everyone. Hmm. I like that answer. I am the same as well then. Very well, Ren. Let's strike a deal. If you're willing to step away from Team Zen, then I shall step down from Bladestar as well. I... I can't do that. You can't or you won't. I can't. There are some things I need to be around for. Well, that's unfortunate. In that case, I cannot as well. That said, I will not let you enter Zone Zero without a fight. But I will say that I understand you more, Ren. And I apologize how I treated you thus far. Ryland. Guess nothing's really changed, but we learn more about Ryland's perspective. We should prepare for a fight, Thumbs. Indeed we should. And that's where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, a bit of a shorter one. But I think the last episode's length will probably make up for it. It balances it out. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm going to end this one. Uh, as Ren said, be prepared for a fight. Hint, hint, wink, wink. And yeah, that'll be it for this one. I'll see you all next time.